Hello. Now we're up to the fifth alia and Parsha spray sheet. And now we're going to get into a whole bunch of names. This is actually a very short um, alia. It's four lines. Is that possible? And Lemach took for himself two wives. One was named Ada and the other was named Zilla. And Ada bore Jabel. And he was the father of those who dwell in tents and have cattle. Surely there were already tent dwellers, but now we have herdsmanship, meaning the beginning of domestication of animals, which I'm assuming maybe wasn't possible, but it didn't happen again when you see that society is developing, as we might say. And his brother's name was Jubal, and he was the father of all who grasp a lyre and a flute. So not only did you have music being introduced here in this, uh, you know, quote unquote, early time period of humanity, but somebody actually had to make these, these instruments. So now we see that there's an interest in, uh, uh, you know, right, we even have time for music, right? So that means we, once you become, you know, you start domesticating the animals, you start having city life, you start wanting to having entertainment and you want to start filling the air with beautiful music or even terrible music as I would be the one if I was producing it. And Zilla, bore, she bore to Balkan and he who sharpened all tools that cut uh, copper and iron. So now we're into the copper age, iron age. And Tubal Cain's sister was Naama. I believe she is said by the Midrashim to be the wife of Noah uh, from in, in the uh, end of this Parsha and then to the next Parsha when we get introduced to Noah. And actually, that's it. That's really so. Maybe that's why we got all these lists of names because we have to get down to Nama. So Nama was um, not from the line of, 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 of Sheth, she was from the line of Kain. Uh, uh, because Hevel didn't have any children that we know of, and uh, he was killed by Cain. So that's interesting that she has that aspect. If she, you know she's from that line, she's like the last remaining person from that line that got because she got into the ship with Noah. Um, so that's very interesting. I just uh, realized that, but that's potentially why she's named here because you know we don't have too many women named uh, yet in the Torah. So other than Chava, of course, but. Um, but, and I mean, we have Ada and Zilla, so maybe they also could have merited to be entered to be married to Noah. I'm not sure like why. You know, sometimes the Torah mentions people's names because they they have some sort of special connection to somebody else or some sort of merit, as they might call it, that they get named. Okay, so that's it. that's the end of the fifth Leah.